Tundra Esports obviously looking like a very strong team. They are the TI-11 champions after all. Sax is still going to chase him down. Has another blink charge available for this to go for the big strike. And we'll do so. And with the swashbuckle nine. Right on the edge, connecting for the first line. It's a bit of a warning shot. Does make nine rotate up on the pango at the very least. So you do force a rotation. Problem is, nine's probably going to find some kills out of this. Snake Shanks already probably just going to get blown up and does. Pretty much a non-factor in this game. At some point, oh, he is going to be mobile. Skitter. Skitter, he does get caught. This time around, they will secure the kill. Uh, Tino with the Familiars, John, able to finally get get it done. It'll be a big fight over these 4 minute power runes. A lot of rotations incoming. Sakta revealing himself by taking Bob's courier. There is going to be a power rune down on the bottom side, it seems. Bob, he picks up the haste, and they've got nine again. Massive pick up here for Execration. Just bringing the numbers, ensuring they get it done. Very important they keep dealing with this pango like this. And now another chain's out, Bob. Ooh. He's going to find Snaking this time around, and that'll be another. Snaking trying to survive, but can't do it. Does have the sleeping dart on the way, though, with the shard. So big itemization here from Sartre is now Skidder. He's a massive target. If they can find him, and they've got the chains out into the Gustalina. He's going to go down. That's a huge pickup for Execration. Meanwhile, toward the south, though, it seems like Tino once again has been caught out, but Bob is going to rotate in on the Ember. Radiance Won't completely take it away, but it, it's basically already dead. Very, very low on HP. Bob, he gets caught by a sleeping dart. They'll smoke scream him up. Nine, he'll move in, and they've just got so much damage. Even with Shanks popping the Rolling Thunder himself on the Rubik, it is not going to make the difference. Meanwhile, bottom lane, though, Skidder is going to get caught once again by Palos, and the Drow does pick up the leader, but it is going to cost her own life. Thundra will punish. Still sticking around here at the top lane. Might rotate mid because the tier 1 tower is still standing. And Carlo, he's going to jump in here with Palos. They're going to try up to 33, but that's way too tanky of a target. Sleeping Dart is going to fly in right onto the ground. Now with the Rolling Thunder and the Ravage. It's going to connect on all three heroes of Execration. Palos pops the BKB. Trying to Ooh. fight back. He'll move on to Snaking and at least find an Undying. They will lose Carlo, but at the very least, Palos does survive. Dyer's top tower. Top T2 is going to be under siege here from Tino, and that's going to force some rotations in from Tundra. In fact, forcing in all rotations from Tundra. They really want the team fight. And Tino's going to be targeted once again on this Visage. Of course, 33 does have the Ravage up. They have found the Drown on the backside. 9, forced to back off as 33 could not blink in. The Familiars continued hitting the tide, so he could not make that blink that he wanted. Very patient gameplay from Tundra. 33 now, going to be attacked by Palos. It's a fair bit of damage coming in, but there are hills to come out from snaking as they do land the sleeping down to the drow. There's just stun out as well for 33, but Palos will pop the BKB and move in onto snaking. Snaking a tanky target, but with Shanks, and that stolen Laguna Blade is just going to be more than enough. Problem is Tino. Tino's going down, and now a big ravage. 33 stun, two on the backside. More importantly, he found the drow. Palos is going to melt. Again, without even the ravage up and running. We're going to have that up again. They're still clumped up here. They are 9. He'd be a nice target if they can secure it. 9, though, he has the Ogre Seal Totem, so he's just going to be able to jump out of there. Meanwhile, there is going to be a jump in from 33. He's just such a tanky boy. They do get an overgrowth off here from Carlo, but is it going to be enough? Is there enough follow-up damage? It doesn't seem like it. 33, he'll jump in for a two-man Ravage, and they've got the Drow once again. That's the big target. Stolen Ravage by Shanks, but it won't matter. They just haven't got the follow-up. Tino, Tino's still trying to run, but there's no escape. He'll go for the stone form. In this rune on 53, though, he could still play with the tendrils of the deep here. Certainly caught. The tendrils are available. 33, completely unscouted, though the familiars are stunning him up right now, but Roshan's still alive. He might have time to steal this one. Overgrowth up, Palos. He's got the Aegis up, but Bob is already gone. Getting bursted down by Skidder. Still, can they try to get anything out of this? Apart from the Roshan, it doesn't seem like it. There's four down for the side of Execration. Palos is the only survivor, and it doesn't seem like that's going to be for very long either. First life is gone. Second life, probably not going to last very long. He's just trapped between a rock and a hard place. He will go down. Skidder with a triple kill on the leaner. A loss. Throughout the free wave, 33 is watching the four stuffs in forward. Oh, that's disgusting. He four stuffs the drought forward. Hexes immediately. Tundra, they're not backing off yet. 33, he'll get it done himself. If my carry doesn't want to do it, I'll do it, he says. 
Four snap away there, nice lift up, and now a big overgrowth down from Carlo, but where's the follow-up damage? They're still trying on the 33, but he'll just jump away. Laguna's there, though. They do burst him down. That's one down from the side of Tundra, but Meg creeps her up. Shanks will drop on the Rubik in the meantime. And they are not safe yet either. Jump back in onto Bob. Bob's gonna be okay. Tina's been caught as well, but he's still trying to fight. Nine, he'll roll up, trying to roll his way out of there. There will be a buyback from Shanks and the Rubik. In goes our Trina as well, but he's already committed the overgrowth. Skidded trying to oh. man up and fight this one out on the Lena. Still trying. Pops the Satanic, heals up all the way, stuns up the Drought, but has to back off. If he died out, Sakta, he's gonna lock down the Rubik. Rolling Thunder will be there from nine to make sure the Rubik just gets held down and skid up. Just go right to work on the Lena. Gonna force the buyback out from Palos, but you've lost the Rubik without buyback. Palos, he'd be the primary thug because he just fought back. Nine will jump in for a shield crash. He does end up finding Carlo on the tree and protector. And that's just another one down. Yeah. We'll move in, Palos. Trying for something, but the blink way is there. Nine will make the jump in, and now your Ravage comes out. 33, right onto the drow. Understanding that'll just basically be GG. And they've got him down. A double kill for Skitter. The GG is called Palos to seed enough. They have him with the buybacks available to try and make this fight happen. The Tundra. I mean, it was a decent enough start for its accretion, but Tundra eventually just take over it. Well, they are Tundra, John. They are the TI-11 champion, so... Tidehunter early on. There's a few caveats for Lina versus Monkey King. If Wukong's does go off... Tundra, they're having a big wraparound here through that Radiant Jungle. So have the high ground advantage. Runs up. Should be an easy kill. Nine, he's gonna see the Monkey King very soon. Skitter, though, he's the one to get caught out first, so maybe Execration can secure first blood. And it seems like they can. It is going to try to run. Tina will be the one to take first blood here on the Visage. Lots of the trust slaining tools. We'll always have a little bit of weight. Oh, yeah, he's up These are coming in as well. He's in charge now. Snake is going to try and pack capitalize. And in fact, with the snowball, they've got enough damage. Bob will go down. Palos finds 33 again. What a nice kill here for the Monkey King as mid lane, a bit of a rush here for the power room. Snowball's gonna be out, trying to make sure the Rolling Thunder never comes out. Shanks is around the corner, does level up the Avalanche now, maybe they can find 9, and they will. Sarkis in the meantime, gonna rush for that power room, does find the double damage for himself. Shanks was chasing Skidder, but Skidder just walks away and gets the Courier. He goes Shanks again with the Avalanche cross combo. Sansa is around the corner, but Bob's got the Rolling Thunder already going. They might have a kill onto this Lena. Skidder still trying to juke and jive his way out of this one, but there's no way to do it. We do have decent jungle farm to build up, though. They can't Carlo out. They have got Carlo on the under. That'd be a nice pickup. The side of Tundra, but can they get themselves out of here? The two side is still going. This won't do too much damage. Skidder trying his best to continue defending, but Shanks is moving in with an avalanche sauce. Oh no, Skidder, he got a little bit greedy. That's four camp, and we'll get punished by Tino. A double kill to go the way of the Visage. Like he could have gotten the Palos. earlier on. New mastery, he will proc it, has the balance available, sucks up, he pops the tricks for trade, but they have the stun. Palos, like you kind of mentioned, John, he's having a real fantastic time now on the MK. Top the net worth board, just complete free farm. He doesn't even have detection for this. Radiant are Amazing what you're farming. Right? Rosie's there. There's your dust out now, but there is helping coming. Ryan's gonna join in. Tino, he stuck around too long. Bob, big squash fumble. Rolling Thunder is there. Egg is out as well. He has caught the Ricky of the Shards in the staircase as well, but Sansa, he is just fine. Radiant's top tower. Very good team fight so far. Snake and will Icarus dive out. Shanks, he will chase down the Ricky. And eventually they will catch up. Maybe they find that leader. It seems like Skidder's got the uh, the message that they are around. We'll just back his way out on that leader. So it seems he sticks around, but it seems like the rotations are going to start coming on the bot lane. Tonight has been caught out. He's got plenty of help around the corner. 33 could jump in for a Ravage, but 9, he is being kind of left alone to die. He does go for a snowball, but... Like his lane just got stopped. He was left alone. His Ricky can't really continue there. We're trying not to Bob here, though. I mean, it's a big kickoff they can find it. Bob, Ravage even being committed here from 33 to make sure Shanks cannot help out on the Tiny. They should have another. Shanks will drop. Radiance top tower. Now they're on the hunt. They want heroes to take down, not towers. And they're going to run right into 33. Bob, rolling thunder. It's going to be popped. 
He's still in the smoke, so he does go for the blink right into the tide. 33 not quite expecting this, realizing he's just gonna die. He won't even move, he'll just take his punishment. Go Bob. Bob's very forward. Ooh. He will roll up. He's still okay for now. Trying to swashbuckle away, but the chase is on. Skitter. He will land the stun and immediate Laguna comes out. Bob. I'm just not sure about that. He was just by the mid tier 2 tower of the Dyer. He's less than 1k lead for execration. They find a top tier 2, huh? Avalanche is out. Wukong's command, not out by Palos, Ooh. but a very nice Boundless gonna land on two targets. Still, they get the egg off snaking. He's alright for now. Can they protect him? It seems like they just may as Palos could not get it done in time. Icarus dies out of there. The BKB about to wear off. So 33 goes right for the Raptor. 33, he's dying for the Wukong's command. The statue takes him out. They even lose snaking anyway. And Bob, he'll pop the Rolling Thunder. Pacing for more. They found such on the Ricky. They even found nine on the task. That's the big one. Nine. He has the snowball up. He has the blink away. Skidder will just TP right away as nine. Still being chased down. Does pop the snowball. Trying to do as much as he possibly can. Maybe kill off Bob, but he cannot. Round and dish that damage out on his own. And execution took that lead back. 4k up their way. Full pipe up and running on Tino. Locking off even more of that magical burst. They've got the angle mid, they know the team fight spots oh, are gone. Shanks, that's a big avalanche. He had two targets, but the Shadow Blade away is going to allow Skidder to relocate, reposition for Palos. He gets the double stun off. Maybe they can chase them down after this for the BKB. Skidder's going to be okay. Sansa, he will be the sacrificial lamb. So his output is just going to skyrocket. On Thunder, half connected Bob, protecting himself. It's actually Nine that gets caught out here on the task, though. He does go for a snowball back the way of Tino, but they have the avalanche to make sure Nine goes absolutely nowhere on Bob. <laughs> They've got the Roshan, unless you throw everything at him. And even then, he might not, he may not die. Jump in, Carlos. He'll get started on the T3 tower, but they will slow it down with the sleeping dart and the smoke screen into the tendrils. And now the snowball. Sunray going as well, but Palos is still alive. We'll turn back around and they've got nine. Laguna will at least get the Aegis. That's one line. But like I said, they basically threw everything at him. Do you stick around? The answer is yes. A nice toss back. Shanks, he's going to find the leaner. That's huge. Jitter is down without flyback. They can't play around the egg, son. They can't play the ground. Okay. 33, he pops the Ravage, the tendrils are there, they do find Palos at the very least, the Monkey King is going to go down. 32 should drop right behind him though, and he will as Bob. Bob will clean up along with Shanks. These toss backs from Shanks is proving to be so effective. They don't really have much structure damage apart from Tino, who's trying to get it done, but... Mind you, Skid has done a very good job of catching up in terms oh, of network. You know... Let's get caught. In fact, never mind. They're on to the Ricky instead. Sansa, he's the one to get caught and he's the one to go down. Nine, he gets defused up. That's your mid task in trouble as Palos. He's going to jump in after nine and look at the damage output. It's just way too high. But where's the follow up? Nine, he'll get the snowball up in time. But he's going to go right back to Bob. They will secure the kill as now the Ravage comes in 33. Only lands on one. And Tino, he had the stone form anyway. He's perfectly fine through it. They missed their whole combination. So Scythe the Vice, it's going to lock down Palace for a moment, but it's not going to be enough. They need to back out of there. Tundra, this isn't the fight they needed. Skid is trying to run, but Tino's on the chase, getting his sweet, sweet revenge. Takes down the Lena. Tundra, four down. They do have buybacks available on the Lena, but they call it. GG's called Execration. A pretty rough game one, but they come back in game two stronger.